everybody. I wanted to do a quick follow-up video to my last one, talking about water. It's really cold, at sub-zero, minus 10 temperatures all night long. Um, so let's take a look at a couple water bucks we got going on, and the idea that I introduced last time. Now this is something to check out. Insulation, a little bit on top, barely touched, full of ice. I don't know if you can see it. There is steam coming off this water. Obviously, I don't know. I don't know if it's obvious. But it's cold. But there's still steam. Anyways, this thing is solely run. Take my clamps off for a second. You can see here, all I have going on right now in a pinch is this. It's it's an aquarium heater. It's better than nothing for what we've got, which is pretty much minus 10 temperatures all night long. I know there's supposed to be a Lionel Richie joke in there somewhere, but anyways, it's steaming. The water's so nice and warm. And they're drinking it because this thing was chuckle block full last night. So, it goes to show, and I kept the cord off here at the back, heater's covered, I don't want the horses get into it, but in a pinch, we've only got a few days of this super cold weather. You can keep the ice off with something so small with a little bit of help of insulation. Oh man. Zeus, come here. What are you doing? Are you chasing the dog or the horse? No barking, okay? No. No. Do something else. Now this water here, again, just kind of come up with a temporary solution, but we have a proper heater in it, power going, it's 1200 watts or so. And this, if you can't see the steam coming off of this thing, I don't know, it's hard to see on this screen, but it looks like a sauna. Yeah, you can see that. Anyhow, this is lukewarm. This is practically bath water right now. I think it's working really well. But uh, this is also low. Horses have been drinking. You check it every morning. You're checking your water. Hi. What's going on? Anyways, it's always important to check your water uh, when you when you uh, come out in the morning. Uh, fill them up at nighttime kind of deal. Make sure everything is good. When you got sub-zero temperatures going on. Because you never know. You want to know how much your horses are drinking. Uh, keep track of that if they're drinking or not drinking. You'll know that. If you have a lot of horses, it's a little bit harder. You don't really know who's drinking, but I do know that both tubs um, are missing water. Maybe not a lot, but enough that I know that they're drinking, so that's good. So, you know, you're always going to check those things out. It's cold. Keep a, keep a sharp eye on water and what's happening. But, um, that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. This video isn't about the best type of heater or the best method to do things. It's about doing things that's good for the horse. Uh, when you get really cold weather like this, what's the fastest way, what's the easiest way, what's the best way you can get the water warm or at least, you know, kind of ice free. The idea of insulating the tub uh, works well just on its own, but again, sometimes you got to innovate a little. If you've got a bit of power, you really can just hook up a little aquarium heater um, and having the insulation over top of the tub and over the top of the, uh, the piece on top to reduce the amount of air that can get to the water, keep the water full, all those kinds of things will help. Um, and that's really what we're doing. So hopefully that helps a little bit uh, when it comes to taking care of horses and uh, keeping their water drinkable. Thanks for watching.